Come on, let's praise him on tonight. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Let's praise him on tonight. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Let's praise him on tonight. Glory. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Come on and open up your mouth on tonight and begin to give God praise and give him glory and give him honor. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus, for he is great and he is greatly to be praised. And we give him the glory and we give him the honor on tonight. Hallelujah. Let's worship him in spirit and in truth. Glory to God. How let's magnify the name of the Lord on tonight. Come on, oh, taste and see what the Lord is about to do in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Let's give him a hallelujah on tonight. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Let's worship him on tonight. Let's give him the glory on tonight. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. I know you may be a little bit tired. I'm tired too. Glory to God. But I'm telling you, the flesh is weak, but the spirit is willing. In the name of Jesus, hallelujah, we praise your name, God. We magnify your name, God. Hallelujah, thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, thank you, Jesus. We worship you, God. We praise your name, God. In the name of Jesus, God, we worship you. 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 Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. We worship you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on, somebody and worship him. Hallelujah. Come on and praise his name on today. Come on and give him glory and honor on today for truly God is great how uh, he's a great God he's an awesome God he's a mighty God hallelujah he's a mighty God in the name of Jesus he is a mighty God how, how many know that we serve a mighty God in the name of Jesus hallelujah he's an awesome God how many know that God is awesome and he if he has been awesome in your life come on and open up your mouth and give him praise and give him glory and give him honor for truly God is an awesome God hallelujah he's a provider glory to God hallelujah he's El Shaddai in the name of Jesus he's Jehovah Jireh in the name of he's Jehovah Nisi hallelujah hallelujah glory to God hallelujah thank you Jesus he's your Adonai in the name of Jesus hallelujah Thank you, God. Hallelujah. Come on and worship him. Come on and praise him. Come on and give him glory. And come on and give him honor. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on and worship him. Come on and praise him. Hallelujah. Come on and worship him. Come on and praise him. Hallelujah. Come on and worship him. Come on and praise him. Glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Come on and worship him on today. Hallelujah. For this is the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in him. In the name of Jesus. How for this is the hour. This is the time. In the name of Jesus to praise him. In the name of Jesus. This is the hour. This is the time to magnify his name. This is the time. This is the hour to raise up and to mount up on your horse. Glory to God. This is the hour. This is the season. In the name of Jesus to give God praise and to give him glory and to give him honor. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Come on in somebody and worship him. Come on somebody and praise him. 
Come on, somebody, and magnify the name of the Lord on tonight. In the name of Jesus, come on and worship him. Come on and praise him. Come on and magnify the name of the Lord on tonight. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. We praise your name, God. We worship your name, God. We magnify your name, God. In the name of Jesus, God. Hallelujah, thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. In the name of Jesus, hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, come on and worship him, people of God. Come on and glorify his name. In the name of Jesus, come on and open up your mouth. In the name of Jesus, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. In the name of Jesus, come on and worship him. Come on and worship him. Come on and worship him. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Come on and worship him. Come on and worship him. Come on and worship God. In the name of Jesus. How come on and open up your mouth on tonight? In the name of Jesus. Come on and give him glory on tonight. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Come on and lift up your voice on high in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Glory, 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 glory. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Glory, glory, glory. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Glory, 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 glory. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Come on and worship him. Come on and praise him. Come on and give him glory. Come on and give him glory. Hallelujah. 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 Come on and give him glory on tonight. Hallelujah. Come on and give him praise on tonight. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on and worship his name on tonight. In the name of Jesus, hallelujah. Come on and worship him, worship him, worship him. Worship him, worship him, worship him, worship him on tonight. In the name of Jesus, worship him. In the name of Jesus, worship him. Hallelujah, thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Hallelujah. Come on and worship him. Glory. Hallelujah. Glory. Hallelujah. Worship him. Worship him. Worship him. Worship him on tonight. 
in the name of Jesus, hallelujah, 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 come on and worship him, come on and worship him, in the name of Jesus, Jesus, hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, 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 we worship you, Lord. We praise your name, God. Hallelujah. We worship you, Lord. We praise your name, God. In the name of Jesus, God. Hallelujah, God. Uh, we worship you, Lord. We worship you, Lord. Come on and worship him on tonight. Uh, come on and praise him. Come on and praise him. Hallelujah. Come on and praise him. Come on and praise him. Hallelujah. Come on and praise him. Hallelujah. Come on and praise him. In the name of Jesus, come on and praise him. Come on and praise him, praise him, praise him, people of God. In the name of Jesus. See, we're trying to set the atmosphere. In the name of Jesus, so God can come in. In the name of Jesus, hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, hallelujah. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on and worship him. Come on and praise him. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. I'm going to play, glory to God, this song that on yesterday, glory to God. And how many know that when God needs to get you a message, God is, he, he's, he's funny when he needs to uh, deliver a message to you to let you know that, you know, he's here, he's listening and he knows and he sees all. So on yesterday, when I began to um, open up YouTube and look for some music that I can listen to, the Throughout the day, the first thing I saw, glory to God, was um, this song by Tiff Joy entitled The Promise. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. The joy for your sets. Strength in your wings. And hope when your helps. He'll be healing for heartache. Thank you, Restore Jesus. every heart. Thank you, Jesus. Freedom and love. Thank you, Jesus. And he said he will pardon every promise that he made it will come to pass. He won't go back on his word. Every promise that he made it will come to pass. You just think of leaving more facts. Thank you, Lord. Yes, Lord. It's a 
Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God. Thank you, Jesus, for the promise, glory to God, hallelujah, shall come to pass in the name of Jesus, hallelujah. How many know that God's promise, glory to God, hallelujah, shall come to pass, glory to God, hallelujah, thank you, Jesus, hallelujah, his promises are yea and amen, glory to God, hallelujah. How many know his promise, glory to God, shall come to pass in the name of Jesus. His promise, hallelujah, glory to God, shall come to pass. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. shall come to pass glory to god hallelujah if you have your bibles glory to god turn over to isaiah 55 and 11 glory to god where it talks about glory to god hallelujah thank you jesus 
God, move me out of the way, Lord God. I come before you and I humble my and I humble myself before you, God. I come with a heart of repentance, God. Bow down at your feet, Lord God. I come before you, God, asking for forgiveness. So I've done anything knowingly, unknowingly, Lord God. Now, God, let your word go forth on tonight, Lord God. In the name of Jesus, God. And those that are here on tonight, God. Let them get a life-changing word, a life-changing message, God, that will forever change their life, Lord God. In the name of Jesus, God, as we can, we do not take this night lightly, Lord God, as we come before you collectively, Lord God. In the name of Jesus, God, I'm sitting at your feet, Lord God. In the name of Jesus, God, ready and attentive to hear, Lord God, what you have to say to us on today, God, that will forever change our life that will set up lord god a chain reaction god that will propel things to come forward lord god the manifestations to take place lord god in the name of jesus god i thank you god i praise you god i give you glory and i give you honor where glory and honor is due in jesus name we say amen over in isaiah 55 and 11 and tonight the message is god's promise glory to god over in Isaiah 55 and 11, it states that his word will not return back unto him void, but it has to accomplish what he sent it out to do. Glory to God. And then over in Jeremiah 29 and 11, it says, glory to God, for he know the thoughts and the plans that he has towards you, not an evil, but of good to give you an expected end. Glory to God. Hallelujah. So we're talking about tonight God's promises that he has promised you in the name of Jesus. For see, God already promised those things. Why? Because he knew you before the foundations of this earthly realm. So way before you were placed in your mother's womb, he spoke some things over your life in the name of Jesus. He's whispered in your ear and he's told you some things that he's going to do in the name of Jesus. Just because the promise didn't happen yesterday, just because the promise didn't happen three weeks ago, just because it didn't happen today, does not mean that God forgot about you. Glory to God. He said that his word, glory to God, cannot return back unto him void, glory to God, for it has to accomplish what he sent it out to do. So that means, glory to God, people of God, if God's word, if God's word that he promised you come back to him, that will make God out of a liar. And we all know that God is not a lie. He doesn't lie. In the name of Jesus, he is a God that cannot and shall not and will not lie. In the name of Jesus, if he said some things to you, glory to God, this year, if he's spoken some things to you this year, and we all know a lot of us in the body of Christ, glory to God, this year, 2016, some for some of us, it didn't start off good, glory to God. For some of us, it didn't start off uh, um, um, with us having a happy face and, and we were filled with joy on the inside of our, us. For some of us, this year didn't start off uh, with a blessing from the Lord. Glory to God. For some of us, we had to go through some things to get the promise. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. We have to lay down some stuff. We have to sacrifice a whole bunch of things. Glory to God. Hallelujah. But did God did not change his promise. Glory to God. He said he, he's going to he's going to fulfill the promise because it says in his word, his promises are yea and amen. We know that God is the alpha and the omega, the beginning and the end. Glory to God. So he knows the beginning of the promise, and he also knows the end of it in the name of Jesus. And isn't it something that God already knows the midway section of the promise? Glory to God. Hallelujah. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. He said his word shall not return back unto him void, for it has to accomplish what he sent it out to do. Do you know what God said, spoke in the atmosphere to this morning? Do you know what God spoke in the atmosphere 
five minutes ago? Do you know what God is setting? Do you know what God is setting up on your behalf right now at this very minute for tomorrow? No. Why? Because we're not supposed to worry about tomorrow because tomorrow will take care of itself. We're supposed to worry about this present state that we're in right now. Glory to God. Hallelujah. The promise, the blessing, the miracle is waiting for you in tomorrow. But we're to, to thank God today. Glory to God. So many people thank, thank God when the promise gets to them. So many people thank God when the blessing gets to them. So many thank God when a miracle takes place. But why not begin to thank God now? Why not begin to thank God now for January 2017? Why not thank God now for uh, March 2017? Why not thank God for October the 21st, 2016? You don't know what God has planned for that day. You don't know what blessing, signs, miracles, and wonders. You don't know what God has promised you will show up on that day. Why not thank him for November the 1st, 2016? Why not start thanking God right now for the promise? Instead of thanking him when the promise gets to you, in the name of Jesus. <coughs> Hallelujah. So many people, they, they, oh God, I thank you for the promise. And then when, when a promise comes and when a blessing comes, when a miracle comes, when a supernatural, ridiculous things, when the signs and miracles of oneness overtake them, they go back into their, their, their oh, who is me? No, why not be happy every day? Yes, we go through some things. We go through trials and tribulations in our life. That's a part of life. Glory to God. We're going to face some things in the season. Glory to God. That's upon us. Glory to God. Because God is fine-tuning us. He is teach, He's uh, uh, imparting some new strategies into us. Glory to God. Do you not know that sometimes God will test you before he give you the blessing? Glory to God. Do you not know sometimes God will uh, attest you before the miracle take place? Glory to God. Do you not understand that sometimes, glory to God, that sometimes you got to sacrifice for the blessing? Glory to God. Hallelujah. If, if, if it means giving some stuff up. Turning, uh, uh, cutting your circle loose. How many people you got in your inner circle that's holding up your promise? <clears throat> Glory to God. How many people are you connected to that's hindering the promise? Glory to God. How many people that's in your that's that's in your 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 contact list that's holding up the miracle and the blessing from God? Glory to God. For we are upon a new season. Glory to God. People always talk about there's a changing of the guards. Changing of the guards. Every time I look up somebody else, the guards, there's a changing of. No, the guards have changed a long time ago. A long time ago. It's time God is doing a new thing. God, and people always say, well, the, the ship is about to take place. The, per, the paradigm ship, no, the ship already took place. You just missed it. God, uh, there's a perpendicular shift that is in the atmosphere. No, that perpendicular shift been in the atmosphere, but you just noticing it. Oh, God is about to do this and God, no, God already done it. When you're going to begin to open up your mouth and speak it. You know, in Hebrews 11 and 1, it says, now faith is the substance of things hoped for, for the evidence of things not seen. God already did the promise. He already performed the miracle. He already brought the blessing. So when are you going to open up your mouth and begin to speak it into existence? When are you going to stop saying, well, I'm going to sit here and I'm going to wait. Come on now. Let's go back to the book of Kings. I'm not sure where is that. I think it's in the second, second Kings. It talks about the, the, uh, the four leopard men. That was sitting outside of the gate. And they said to each other. Why we sit here and die. 
If they never would have got up and went into the gate, they would have missed their blessing. If they never would have got up and went into the gate, because see, God caused a distraction huh, outside of the gate. Where the men that were in the gate, the army that was in the gate, came out of the gate. Because they thought the, the army was coming against them. So when you want to be like those four leper men, let me tell you something about those four leper men. They already knew that they was going to die. They already knew if we go inside the gate, we're going to die anyway because the army going to kill us. Or we're going to die of starvation. Or they're going to throw us in jail and we're going to die there. They took a risk. They took a chance. They said to one another, why we sit here and die? Why, why are you going to sit there and die and waste your time? I'm going to sit right here and I'm going to wait for God. No, God is waiting on you. <clears throat> Glory to God. Why are you going to say, well, I'm just going to be right here. I know God's about to bless me. I know he said the promise, but you got to do some something. You got to do something for the promise. You got to do something for the miracle. You got to do something for that blessing. You just, God ain't going to just bless us for nothing. Jesus Christ died on the cross. For us. Do you think he did it for nothing? No, he did not. So what makes you think that we going God going to say, okay, well, I'm going to just let you sit right there and I'm just going to give you this blessing. No, it don't work like that. What are you doing? Or what are you not doing? Oh, I'm just... I'm, I got this and I got that and this and that. And this person get on my nerves and that person get on my nerves. Well, you get you cut them people out your life. Because the more you keep stressing, <clears throat> the more you keep worrying, the more you keep complaining, the more, the longer it's going to take for you to get that promise. I'm not saying that God going to say God is going to deny it. No, he ain't going to deny it, but sometimes things certain sometimes things is a delay. I ain't trying to say that it's going to be a delay and you never get it. No, just because something is delayed, it's never denied. Sometimes God will hold that promise up. Sometimes God will hold that blessing back. Sometimes when, when God is about to do some things for you in your life and he has put certain people in position to bless you. And I always tell people half of the time it ain't all about money. Sometimes God will send people to bless you with certain things that you need to fulfill what he has called you to do. And sometimes he will hold that dumb people up. Why? Because what, what you're not doing? What you're not doing? You're doing this and you're doing that. Glory to God. Hallelujah. He said the work that he started in you, he shall complete it. He ain't going to stop the work. He's going to continue to complete the work until the end. Until he called you home to glory. It, it, it's not saying, okay, I'm a, God ain't going to come to you and say, I'm going to do this work right now and I'm going to stop. No. Every day, even while we are in our bed sleeping, God working on us. While we are here on tonight, God working on us and on, on the inside. You just don't feel it, but he working on you. Because I'm telling you, if he would let you feel the, the cutting, I'm telling you, when he cuts us, when he scrapes us, when he yanks stuff out of us, that's not, a, I'm quite sure that's not a good feeling. He's not, he's not working on our flesh, on our natural, he's working on our spiritual. 
Can you imagine how much pain if God was to allow us to feel the cuttings, the spiritual cutting, the 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 jackhammer that he's trying to get out some stuff in us. He desires for us to get the promise. He desires for you to get the blessing and the miracle. But there's some things that he has to do within us first. And then there's some things that God is requiring of us to do. Oh, I'm tired. I'd be tired too. Sometimes I don't go to bed till like 8 o'clock in the morning. Sometimes I don't go to bed till 9 o'clock in the morning. And just still got to get, get up at 11 o'clock. Because when God has some work for you to do, in this season that we're in, it's an urgency. You got to do it. You got to, because see, he can't put no new stuff in no old wine skin. Your wine skin got holes in it. It got some, it's all cut up. It's broken. It's fragile. It's fractured. All this stuff. How God going to feel it when you got all this junk on the inside of you? How God is going to impart a new word into you how God is going to impart something into you when you got junk on top of junk on top of mess on top of mess on top of stuff on top of stuff on top of this on top of that and, and this and then on top of that you got sin here and sin there and sin here and sin there and sin, sin there and people say I, I don't sin every day everybody sin something it, I, I, I don't know who, who, God, I repent. You got to repent daily. Do you not know that your conscious mind will do things that you're unaware of? Your conscious mind will, will, will say stuff. And then people come back to you later on and say, did you know you said that? You'll be like, no, I didn't say that. And you swear by down, you, you tear them down that you ain't saying, but your conscience, your conscience, which is the other mind, the other person of you that talks when you don't talk. I, I didn't say nothing. Well, hon, like I told him yesterday in class, your body speaks louder than your, your mouth. The girl said, well, how, how is that, Sharita? I said, because our body, it has the language of its own. So you don't really have to say anything. But if was God was to come down and you just don't say nothing to him, God would look at your body language and say, okay. But see, the thing is this. God don't look at our body language. He looks at your heart. Why? Because your heart ain't going to lie to God. It's going to always tell the truth. When you try to deny it, your heart still won't tell God the truth. God said he knows the thoughts and the plans that he has towards us, not a good and not an evil. Do you know the evil one, the enemy, Satan, Beelzebub, he has so many names. His plan for you is to destroy you, to stop you, and all, his ultimate goal is to kill you dead, basically. I always tell people, before a natural death takes place, a spiritual death takes place. So when the enemy is out for you, he wants to kill you spiritually. Why? Because he don't want to see the promise come to pass. Why? He don't want to see you get blessed. He don't want to see you get a miracle. He'd rather see you all moped up, gloomy. Frustrated, disgusted, and, and debusted. He ready to see you have nothing than a promise. Because see, the promise will forever change our life. The promise sets things in motion. The promise take you into places where you never dreamed of going. Because, you know, 
What's connected to the the promise is favor. Favor. I tell people favor is better than money. Because favor will get you places where you would need $10,000. But when you got God's favor on your life, you walk in that door. You, you may have a zero bank account and walk in the door and God make you look like a million bucks. 